Hello everyone, I am Sibendra Singh. Today I'm going to discuss a question from Tomato, subjective question number 49 of ISI. The question is as uh, there are X red balls, Y black balls, and Z white balls, which are arranged in a row. Suppose that any two balls of the same color are indistinguishable. I mean, they all are of similar type. Given that x plus y plus z is equal to 30, so that the number of possible arrangements is the largest for x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to 10. Uh, so let's see. Uh, there is, this is basically a multinomial distribution. Uh, which says that uh, the number of possible arrangement uh, of this x, y, z is the number of possible arrangement is equal to x plus y plus z factorial divided by x factorial into y factorial into z factorial. Since x plus y plus z is equal to 30, so this is 30 factorial divided by x factorial into y factorial into z factorial. Now we need to find x, y, z such that this is maximum, right? So this is maximum. If, if the denominator is minimum, right? Uh, the denominator is minimum and the constraint that is we have been given uh, x plus y plus z is equal to 30. Right. Uh, notice that this thing x plus x factorial times y factorial times z factorials is minimum if x is equal to y is equal to z. If not, suppose some of x, y or z are not equal then okay in this case x is equal to y is equal to z and since x plus y plus z is equal to 30 so everything must be equal to 10 right uh, suppose some of x y or z are not equal to 10 then sum of the quantity is greater than 10 and some are less than 10 then in that case uh, if the quantity is less suppose it is 8 factorial okay the lesser quantity is suppose less 8 factorial then uh, for two thing uh, the other is suppose 20, 12 for ex for instance because assuming this to be uh, 20 uh, this thing will always be greater than 10 factorial times 10 factorial because, yeah, uh, you can see that this is 9 into 10 and this will be 11 into 12. The product is always multiplied the, by the greater number, right? So this thing is possible. If x plus y plus z is equal to 10 
and this is how the question is proved thank you